Hello there, my name is Bella and welcome to the 100 Acre Wool Knitting Podcast. I usually on this channel talk about what I'm making as far as knitting goes, but this week it's going to be a little bit different. If you've been following my podcast for any amount of time, you may recognize this project. This is the Anne Boleyn cardigan that I'm knitting currently. I've been knitting it for quite a few months <laughs> and it's going really well. Um, but I've been getting a few questions from you guys about how I'm doing the bobbles in this cardigan, in this project. Um, I'll insert a closer up photo here so you can see all of the details of this. But basically, there's multiple colors in every row, and I'm using a technique called intarsia here. So um, today I thought I would show you a little bit about how I'm doing this, how I'm personally knitting this, and hopefully it can help you along in your knitting journey if you ever want to knit this pattern or any kind of a pattern that would use either intarsia or bobbles or both together. Uh, yeah, you can use this in any pattern that calls for it, or you could make up your own little pattern using these kind of techniques. So let's get started on the tutorial. Okay, so you can see all of the bobbles here. This is the back piece of the Anne Boleyn that I've been knitting. So you can see that all of these bobble lines, there's quite a few bobbles, all on top of each other, all of these are done in different colors. So this is a technique called intarsia, and we're gonna talk about how to make these bobbles. So I'm gonna show you how to do this on a different piece of the Anne Boleyn. So here we go, this is one of the other panels of the Anne Boleyn. And you can see on the wrong side of the piece, this is the back side, I have all my color strings here, I'll get those out of the way. And you can see that none of the colors are floating across the work. So that means that it's intarsia. Uh, unlike regular color work knitting where you uh, are doing stranded knitting and you're knitting with multiple colors uh, the whole row. So this technique is different because you do not have the floats that are going across the whole way. You only have the colors in the specific spot that they are being used. So you can see this ridge is orange and on the right side it's that orange color. And then this ridge is purple and then that's the purple. So we're keeping the colors only in the spaces where they're actually being used on the right side. Alright, so step one is to be on the right side of your work or whichever side of your work you're going to be making the bobble. So this is step one of making the bobble. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just knit up, knit in pattern, all the way up to where you will make your color change in order to knit the bobble. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, now I am up to where I need to make my color change. I just finished my last stitch for this section on the blue color and now I need to change to this darker blue color. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that both of my working yarns, the color that I'm currently using and then the color that I'm going to use for the bobble, both of them need to be on the wrong side of the work so that we don't see any floats or anything like that on the right side. So then what we want to do is we want to twist the yarns around each other. Uh, what this is doing is it's going to anchor your contrast color, so it's going to anchor this other blue color to the rest of the main fabric. Um, if we didn't do this, if we didn't twist them around each other and we just worked the bobble in the next color, then what would end up happening is there's nothing connecting both of them, uh, both of the colors, so the blue would just end up separating from the contrast, or sorry, from the main color. All right, so we're gonna twist them together. So I'm gonna take both of them, and I'm just simply going to twist the blue one around, sorry, the dark blue one around the light blue one, and then bring the dark blue under again. And you can see I've just twisted those there. And then I'm just gonna tighten that up to make sure it's snug. And now we're actually going to make the bobble. So my blue is twisted around, I hope you can see that. My blue, my light blue is twisted around my dark blue. Now we're gonna start making the bobble. So this is just step one. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our stitch knitwise and knit one. But instead of keeping your tension like you normally would, these are really small needles, so the tension is, is going to be quite small. Instead of doing that, I like to pull it just a tiny bit to make the loop a little bit bigger. Um, it's going to help us in the second step of making this bobble. So that's just pulled a little bit. And then we're going to bring our working yarn to the front. So now we're going to do a purl one. So purl that, and then again, pull it a little bit looser than you normally would. 
and back to the back, knit one, and back to the front again, purl one. So there we go. Now we have made four stitches on our right needle, one, two, three, four, four stitches from one. So now I can just slip the old one off. And then we need to get back to working our main color. You see the light blue here. So what I'm gonna do again is I'm gonna take my light blue and again, twist them around each other. So I'm going to twist the light blue on top of the dark blue and under again. So now they are twisted, you can see here. So they're anchored in. And it doesn't really matter which way you twist. Um, the only really thing you wanna do here is just you want those colors anchored to each other. So now I'm gonna finish up this row on the right side, and then the next step will be on the wrong side, we will finish up making this bobble. Okay, so now I'm on the wrong side. I have finished making all of my bobble loops on the right side, and now we're ready to finish off these bobbles. So I have just finished the last little blue stitch for this section, and I'm going to bring my yarn to the back, so wrong side, that's the right side, this is the wrong side. So I'm bringing the yarn to the back, and again, we're gonna be twisting the contrast colors around each other. So I'm just gonna bring the blue on top of the tan, and the tan on top of the blue, and now they are anchored to each other. So, now we are going to finish off the bobble. I'm gonna pull that a little snug. And so now we're gonna finish off the bobble. So if you remember, we made four stitches from one stitch. There's four stitches here. So now we're going to knit them all together, or sorry, rather, purl them all together in order to make one stitch again. And that's what's gonna make the bobble shape. So I'm going to insert my needle purl-wise. I have my working yarn in the front, like we're gonna purl. And insert purl-wise. And if you made your stitches loose enough here, um, remember I said to pull them a little bit looser than you normally would, it's gonna make your needle in this step it's gonna make it go through all four stitches very easily instead of, kind of having, instead of kind of having to wrestle with it. So you can see my needle is through and I'm just going to purl those all together. And there we go. So now I have my new one stitch. And then since we need to get back to working the blue, I'm going to twist the yarns around each other again. So one twist and there we go and then I pull that a bit snug, and I can continue working. So now this bobble is complete. If you look on the right side, you can see there it is. And that's how all of them will work out. So I hope that was helpful to you. Um, also another little tidbit, another little tip about this is you may be working with a lot of different colors. Um, I know not all patterns will be working with this many different colors, but whenever you do intarsia, uh, you may be working with a lot of different colors. And I have a little tip that instead of, for the contrast colors, instead of using your ball of yarn like this, instead of working from this, it's a lot easier and less heavy and less clunky if you make yourself some little bobbles. So this is what it's attached to right now. I have this little, sorry, not bobble, bobbin. <laughs> i got bobbles on the mind. If you make a bobbin like this, um, then it will make your life a lot easier. So you just wind off a little bit of yarn at a time and then whenever this runs out, you can just wind another one and join it in and keep knitting. So I hope that was helpful to you. And if you do end up using this technique, please let me know, that would be so much fun. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I hope you found it helpful. And if you have any other questions regarding this topic, intarsia or baubles or anything like that, multicolor knitting in one row, uh, please comment down below and I will do my best to answer your questions. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you in next week's episode. Bye bye.